everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah and it's the Saturday vloggy thing and in case you hadn't guessed I'm Deborah if it's your first time here appreciate you coming by stick around a while you might find something that you like uh, if this is not your first time here welcome back to the craziness anyway the Saturday vloggy thing is where I talk about things that have happened throughout the week look at whips look at foes and anything else that happens I'll pop into my crazy head okay now as far as the life and stuff this week it's been busy with work as usual so that's a thing um had the gutter cleaning repair and doohickey guy come by that's actually he came by to do an estimate so that's going to be happening next week wow he's going to be getting onto it quickly happy about that because the gutters uh, they need help yes they do anyway that's a thing home ownership it's not for the week. I'm just saying it, it's a chore. Um, let's see what else happened this week. Just a lot of crazy work. That's mostly it. Lots of work. Um, lots of watching videos while I work, which is always fun. Um, my table came in that I've got to do my little planting stuff on, but it's still in the box. It's there's a box right over there it's a big box has to get put together it will hopefully get put together this weekend we shall see we shall see now in case you didn't know about that yes I have been inspired to attempt to plant something um, by people like Joe at Garden State Gardener and Jimmy Pickles from Jimmy Pickle jppepperseeds.com I'm gonna be growing some peppers not necessarily hot peppers although there might be a few in there speaking of peppers I am doing pepper tastings on Wednesdays right now. That's courtesy of Jimmy Pickles, uh, JP Pepper Seeds. He doesn't sell powders, but he does um, process. When he's done getting all the seeds, he processes the peppers and dries them out and lets people try them so you can taste the flavor, and he uses them himself. Wow, I've done one so far. They are delicious. I can't wait to do more. Looking forward to that. Uh, so yeah, this channel, not just about crochet, but as you can see from the yarn, crochet is a big part of it. Uh, I do ha did have a couple of things come in the mail that were not part of my um, Happy Mails and Acquisitions and Hauls this week. Oh, by the way, this pretty shawl, well right now I'm wearing it as a shawl, but it's actually a scarf, came from my Secret Santa person. Uh, the Secret Santa this year was put on by Lisa Ladybird Loves. Which, by the way, I'm going to link one of her videos right up here. Click on it. Go watch it. Then come back afterwards. But when you go watch it, tell her I sent you. Okay? She's got a huge thing coming up. And you don't want to miss it. Just saying. But anyhow, Secret Santa. Miss Helen in Australia sent me this as part of my Secret Santa gift. I love it. Love it. So, anyway, I thought I'd go with its warm colors today. Anywho. Some things that came in the mail. First, these. Yes, they are identical. They are both five millimeter cro ergonomic crochet hooks. I ordered them from Wish because I use five millimeter in a lot of projects and I like to keep my hook with my project. And the ones that are just the straight metal, just like the original, you know, kind of crochet hooks, those really start to hurt my hands after a while. This little bit of rubbery plastic stuff just makes a difference. So there you go. I got two more. And I think with shipping, it was like less than four bucks <laughs> to, to get these. So just wanted to show you that. And something else that came in the mail today was something I ordered that is not crochet related, but I know a lot of y'all will be in into this. Um, a friend of mine who is not on the YouTubes, okay, she does Color Street Nails. I don't know if you've heard of Color Street. Um... But Color Street, it's like nail polish strips that you put on. It keeps her messing up. It's a lot better than painting. I don't chip these nearly as fast as I do nail polish. I have not done my nails in a while because I've been having problems with my hands. But I decided to treat myself to four different packs of these because she was having a deal. I will put her contact information down below. And this one is called New York Minute. It's more of a purpley color and it does have some sparkle in it. I doubt that my phone is picking that up, that little faint sparkle that's in there. This one, <clears throat> pardon me, is called Strobe Lights. A really pretty blue. 
This one, also a pretty blue, is called Greeking Out. Oh, love that color. And then this one is called On the Floor. It's called It's On the Floor. Stand by. Okay, back up from the floor. This one is called Are You Madridding Me? Yes. So, really pretty colors. And they do have a lot of, like, nail art type of looks. Um, I get those sometimes. Sometimes I just get the plain colors. It just depends on what my mood is. I just wanted to order some. She had a goal she was trying to reach. I was like, yeah, I'll order a few. It's all good. Did the thing. They came quickly. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, to the crochet mobile Batman or something. Um, I do have one finished object. <laughs> one. And it's teeny tiny. I was just playing and I made myself a little face scrubby. So I have one finished object. This is all done with the uh, Premier Just Cotton that I got from Dollar Tree. I've got a ton of it. A ton of it. Okay, not a literal ton, but lots of it. Okay, I have a lot of this cotton in all different colors. And I just decided to play with some baubles. That'll be some nice texture for scrubby scrubbies. So that was done. But I've got some whips, y'all. Whips that I actually did work on this week. This one is going to be the next square for my hashtag rock2022 AU with Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. She will be linked up here because it's a fun, fun crochet along that's going to go on all year long. Twice a month, first and the 15th. Um, she'll be showing us an album cover that someone in her family has chosen out of their extensive vinyl collection, which I love. I love this. Um, and you take inspiration from that and work on whatever it is that you're working on. Some people are doing little small things and donating them. Some people are adding rose to a blanket. I decided to just be inspired by the colors and make corner to corner squares. Here's a previous one. Uh, this one was from, from the first week which was Pink's uh, Fun House album cover. And there's golds and pinks and everything on there and some whites and everything. So that's what I did. Surrounded it with black and it's going to be sort of a stained glass looking um, blanket at the end of the year. So yes, this is this one that was just released on the first. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Hook's Greatest Hits. So a lot of those colors that are in there and it'll get finished out sometime in the next several days and I'll put the black border on it and it'll be done. Once I get what I'm going to consider a rose worth done, I'll probably connect them at that point and then move on to the next week. Speaking of connecting things, I do have a temperature project going on. Right now, it fits in here. It really does. It's just not that big because we are not that far into the year and my temperature project is not going to be too ginormous. It's going to be a blanket, but I'm doing the blanket out of DK yarn and each piece of the blanket is very, very small. These are my colors for my temperatures, the way I have it broken down. And let's see. The way I'm doing it, I'm going to have 19 squares across and it's going to be 20 rows, which I know it's not 365 days. There are some extras. There is a, a square designating the year. There are squares designating each month and there are a few extras that are just going to be designed because I had to fill it out somehow. This one is the first 22, yes, don't laugh at my numbers. They're bad. 22 for 2022, one for January. And then the first 17 days of that month of January. Yeah. And you can see I connect each one each day. And then at the end of my big old row, I went ahead and stitched across the top in white. And then there's going to be a border around the outside afterwards too. Now this one, I have one more square to add on this, which I will do today for yesterday's temperatures. And then I will connect it to that one. So you'll get to see a little bit more progress next week. Um, hello, here we go. This one, I put a little stitch marker so that I would know where the beginning was because I didn't have the year to start me off. And 
Oh, and my squares, the inner portion represents the low for the day, the outer portion represents the high for the day. And it's all in blues and white and some purples too. There's my another wonky too, but a different kind of wonky <laughs> to designate February. And there we are, end of February. So yeah, I am pretty pleased with this. But like I said, I'll be joining these up together this weekend. Uh, once I get the square done for yesterday's temperatures, I do it pretty, usually I do it the next day during lunch. Since right now during my lunch break, I'm recording this, but that's not going to happen. It'll happen later on today. Another whip that's going on, which has actually made some more progress. I am almost done with my second ball of dropping stuff on the floor of Mandela in the color unicorn. That's all that's left of that second ball. And this is my corner to corner that I'm doing on that. I'm kind of been into corner to corner lately. That was the beginning. You can see how wide it's getting. And I'm probably going to increase, once I get done with this ball, another half a ball. And then I'll start my decreases because I have a lot of this yarn apparently. I bought it on sale last year. Joanne's had a sale on mandalas and I was like, yes, give me all of the thing called unicorn because apparently that's what I wanted at the time. But it's a really pretty color combination. Like the way it kind of fades into each other. It looks really cool. It's not super heavy. Um, but it is nice to let it drape down over my legs while I'm crocheting at night while watching TV because yeah, it gets chilly. I've got yarn everywhere now. <laughs> Gosh. Oh my goodness. And this one, by the way, uh, the Mandela is a three weight and I am using, I don't even remember what size hook I'm using. Hang on. I am using a five millimeter hook, which I think it calls for a four and a half, but that's okay. I'm using a five. I want it a little bit drapier. Um, on my squares for the Rock 2022 AU. Got the bag all turned cattywampus and the hook's hiding. Come out here, hook. For that one, I'm using a six millimeter. Again, this this is actually, this is a clover or more that I'm using. Uh, and I really like it. I found that I like those a lot. So still trying out hooks though to see what my go-to super whamadine hook choice is going to be. I have more yarn coming. Yeah, Creative Grandma was an enabler uh, by showing me all the beautiful yarns from Smiley. So I have ordered a bunch of their yarn of the month. As soon as that shows up, I will do a yarn haul and, and talk about it and stuff. Just let you know what's, what's coming up. Also coming up, I'm going to attempt to record when I do some of the gardening type of things. As a total noob, not as an instruction video for anyone, more as a point and laugh for everybody else because I don't know what I'm doing. But that's going to happen sometime in the next few days, maybe. If I can get that table put together, my little lights haven't come in yet, so that's a problem. But I do have my little heat, seedling heat mat that I got from uh, Joe, Gardens at Gardener. So I can start my seedlings, and I'm not doing many. I've got one little seed pod doodah thing to start them off with. See, I don't know the names of anything hello but that's coming up as well as pepper tastings powder tastings i am so looking forward to that i just want to do them all at once but no i'm going to do one each week so i can taste them and i might try to mix them into something and taste them with something instead of just by themselves but yum 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 also speaking of food stuff and yum yum snacks around the world is going to get a little bit of a bump up because i'm subscribing to a box soon as it comes in, I'll tell you about that too. Lots of stuff happening here at Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. I'm so glad you're here to enjoy it with me. Also, something else going on in the crochet slash gardening slash just YouTube community world. Our good friend Lisa Ladybird Loves, who I talked about a little earlier uh, with the Secret Santa thing where I got this from. Um, she is striving for the 2K. Okay, um, and if she hits it by her 
potiversary kind of deal, potiversary, uh, monetation anniversary thing in July. If she hits it by then, there's going to be an enormous giveaway that includes 200 Great British Pounds. Now, I'm not real good with the translation rates and all of that, but I do know that in American dollars, that's like 270 something dollars. Yeah. You want to take part of that? I linked it earlier. It'll be linked down below as well. Don't forget. Check it out. Make sure you tell her I sent you. Because, yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for coming by. I will see you very, very soon. See ya.